The feeling of getting the same mediocre grades, every exam, every report, every assignment. The feeling of being tired of getting beaten up by procrastination. The feeling of anxiety and stress every time a deadline approaches. It's the tiredness that will propel you to have the motivation to change, the desire to get off the ground and stand up and stop eating dirt. The battleground is in your mind. That's where the war is. It's in your head. That's where the enemy fights. That's where procrastination and temptations lie. As soon as you wake up, the battle begins. And it continues throughout the day. Through temptations and seductions, the battle continues. And your friends see you studying and studying. They see you studying all day. And you make it look so easy. But they have no idea of the gunfire going off in your head. Because the real battlefield is in your mind. It's never the situation you find yourself in. It's always in your head. This is your moment. This is your year of transformation. Complete rethinking, re-examining, rescheduling, re-evaluating. This is the battlefield. It's not exams. It's not reports. It's not enemies. It's not teachers. It's not parents. That's not the battlefield. Stop wasting your time focusing on these things and look within you. It is something that is ingrained in every successful person to look at the external problems around you and improve and fix yourself to be able to overcome those problems. The ability to push through difficult times. The more you overcome today, the easier you will overcome obstacles tomorrow. And once you build up that momentum of improving your productivity, it becomes a whole lot easier. And it's funny how it works. The more you study, the more you prepare for your exams, the easier your exams will be. The easier university will be, the easier it will be to get a good internship or graduate job after you graduate. It's really very simple. The more effort you put into developing yourself and improving your studying, the easier your life will be. Respect the struggle of your journey. Because it's the struggle that will build you to become stronger. But be persistent. Keep working on it. It's going to be hard, but that is an incredible thing. Because you're going to figure it out. You will pull through. You have enough time. You have enough resources. You have enough commitment. You will find a way to smash your exams. You will figure things out. When tomorrow comes, you might not know what steps to take, but believe in yourself. You will come into obstacles. You probably already have. Whether it's procrastination, friendship problems, family problems, money problems, whatever it is. It's not going to be easy, but pain is just a byproduct. If you haven't experienced pain, then you will not have the motivation to become the best version of yourself. The pain is what will fuel you. The most successful people on the planet have had to overcome catastrophic obstacles, and they came out on the other side stronger and wiser. Bill Gates's first business failed miserably. Albert Einstein didn't speak until he was four years old. Oprah Winfrey gave birth at 14 years old to a baby boy who died shortly afterwards. Thomas Edison failed 1,000 times before creating the light bulb. Franklin Roosevelt became partially paralyzed at the age of 39 for the rest of his life. He went on to lead the United States 
as one of the most respected presidents in history. So it's not only you that is facing obstacles, it happens to everyone. But how you deal with them is what will set you apart from everyone else. And as they say, after the rain comes the rainbow. There are two sides of pain that a lot of people don't really understand. There's a side of pain that most people can relate to. The difficult side, the uncomfortable side. You always remember what that feels like. But then there's the other side of pain. It's called effort. It's called winning. It's called if you can push through the suffering, there's some great things waiting for you on the other side. But you don't get to see them if you give up right now. And that's why a lot of people don't get to see this side of pain. Because they give up before they get there. It's not easy to continue studying when every part of your body is telling you to give up. It's so easy to give up. But it's at this point you need to give it everything you've got. It's about pushing yourself to the point where you feel out of your comfort zone. Because it's outside your comfort zone where the growth happens. No one has become successful while staying within their comfort zone. Absolutely no one. The first three seconds that you start studying, that's the hardest part. But if you can push through that, if you can push through the first few seconds of studying, it gets a lot easier. You realize it was the thought of studying that you were more bothered about than the actual studying itself. It's never as bad as you thought it would be. You've got to stop complaining. You've got to stop the negativity. Complaining has zero benefits. It doesn't help anything. It just pulls others down with you. You've got to take action in your life. What are you doing about it? You've got to find a solution to your problem. Don't be the problem. I see it so many times where someone is getting bad grades, but they blame everyone else but themselves. Believe me, that person is going nowhere. Nothing's going to happen in their life. And if that's you, if you're the person that is blaming everyone else for the situation they're in and not taking action for their own responsibilities, then this is for you. Take action. Take control. If you keep studying at your full potential, and if you keep reading and keep learning and keep asking questions, you'll see the results for yourself you'll see your grades increase significantly.